What is up guys, Austin Nerd Show here and today we're doing unboxing of Loot Crate for this month. And so I believe the theme is mythical if I am correct. Not exactly sure, I was wrong last month thing because I got everything messed up. But anyways, um, so let's see what we got. Um, so first up here we have, it says Collector Series Thor vs. Loki and of course this is Marvel. Oh, okay. So this is another one of the Fat Mojo characters like we got the Alien one last week or last week last month with the alien queen and bishop so this time it's thor versus loki and i really like that figure so this is awesome that we got another set oh there's whole sorts of things here so we have so we have a thor and loki sets there and then they have what i assume to be like a um, masgard throne or something there that they can sit in Odin's chair yeah and so that's awesome so Bro, if you would put that together for me there. Uh, next up, we have our t-shirt for the month, and it looks like it is a Ghostbusters. Oh, I really like the colors of this. It is a Ghostbusters shirt. So you can see there, so we got like a, um, I don't know what you call it, maybe like a graffiti-ish kind of maybe Ghostbusters logo. And I like the whole pink and blue color there. I really like that mixture together. Um, I'm not exactly sure what this is. Because I see there's like stars and squares and O's and like squiggly lines. And then it's also maybe like a map or some sort of like grid thing in the back. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be. Um, it just says Ghostbusters Loot Wear Exclusive. But it looks really cool. I like the thing. So hopefully the shirt will fit because I really like that look and design. And I would like to wear that. Um, so hopefully that will work out. Uh, next up we have a Stranger Things. And it says 11 versus Demogorgon and this says Super <laughs> Loot Crate Super Emo Friends and it says Artist Series this is adult collectible not a toy so let's see what it is so there's a whole thing about, on here about um, Jay Salvador which is I guess the artist of this so there's a picture of it so I assume it may be like a recreation of that um, so let's open this oh we've got two figure things out of here which is pretty cool I must say so so yeah, it's just pretty much exactly that picture. So that's awesome. So first here we have a wall with the Demogorgon there on it. Looks like a school or something because there's like a uh, green chalkboard there in the back. Can't get this out there. Now. And those, this is what I assume to be the classroom floor. So we can stick that on here. If I can maybe get it on there. There it goes. Maybe there we go. Okay, and then we got a little eleven figure here to go on it in the pigs right Thank there. You. So there we got a recreation of the picture there on the box. So I'm so I'm pretty sure that this is the picture that the guy drew, and then this is a recreation of a figure in it, which is really cool. I think that's cool. I mean, it's Stranger Things. Um, we're getting a lot of Stranger Things. I don't know how I feel about that, but this looks really cool. I like that design and the way it sets up with the whole proportions like of Eleven up closer and Demogorgon on the back and stuff. I really like that. I think it looks cool. So that's awesome. Uh, next up we have um, a Buffy Mr. Pointy bookmark. So I assume Mr. Pointy is like a steak or something from Buffy. And so this is just a wooden bookmarks you can obviously take it and you like stick obviously pages through it like that and then stick it in there so you got a bookmark and so that's just a little bookmark I think it's a very cheap wood almost like a balsa wood or whatever you call it so like you could break real easily but um, I guess that's kind of cool it's something new and different so we got that then we've got our pin for the month which I'm not exactly sure what it is but it says October 2017 mythical so we got that, so I'll have to read the book or something to see what that is. Because I cannot tell. Kind of looks like a vampire. Yeah, it's some sort of thing like that. And then we got our book for the month. I will say I can just tell by the box that this makes um, Thor's hammer. So I forget what we call it. Mormir. Yeah, something along those lines. So you got that, save so the handle there, and then of course the box. Which I was like, we've had something like this before, but it was Harley Quinn's hammer, I guess, that I'm thinking of. So that's the box there, and then before we go into the actual book, Bro did get this thing built, so here is the Thor and Loki figure, which again, I think this is so cool. I hope they start throwing these in every single month, because this is awesome. And so, of course, we have Loki standing on the throne. I like how he's got his uh, scepter or staff, whatever thing there, of course, his helmet with the big horns, and I like, oh, 
I thought. Oh no! I thought the head moved, but it's like a pop-on type thing. Um, and then of course we have Thor over here with the hammer, and then of course I, I assume to be lightning, even though it looks like water, coming up with it and stuff, and it just looks super cool. I don't know if it'll focus in there on him, but that's so cool. I love these little figures. Like I said, I so... Oh, it's falling apart. I hope they do more of those. I really want more. So we have our book here with Mythical. And so let's see what we got. So there's a new Star Trek crate. So if you like Star Trek, you can get the new Star Trek crate. Um, then we got our Who You Gonna Call shirt of Ghostbusters. Um, it just says exclusive Ghostbusters t-shirt. It says designed with an 80's twist. So that's I guess what the whole design colors were to and stuff that I really like. Then we got our Beware of Upside Down. The Super Emos scene. Stranger Things diorama. Oh I guess in the thing yeah. She's supposed to be turned around. I had her backwards, I guess. But turn around pinning the Demogorgon to the chalkboard or it's, whatever. It's from the battle scene in Stranger Things. So there you go. And so there's a picture of it again showing you what it's supposed to look like. Then we got our From Asgard to Midgard. We have our Loot Crate exclusive Thor and Loki Fat Mojo figure, which is there. Which again, I think is super cool. Hopefully they keep doing that. And then we got our, it says, Into Each Generation of Slayers Born, the Buffy uh, Wood uh, bookmark. Then, of course, the Thor Hammer box thing. Then we got some stuff about Thor with Marvel Puzzle Quest. Comic stuff. Of course, other uh, things. Then we got some pictures um, of just random stuff from the last box. And, though, then we got our Mega Crate, which looks really cool. It has a cool... Wolverine statue and there's an, I don't see anything saying what the next month will be I thought there'd be something maybe about that but I do not see anything on here at all so what was your favorite item out of this box bro uh I'm probably gonna go with the Thor Loki yeah the Thor Loki's definitely oh, once again I keep they don't stay together very easily but they just easily pop back in this definitely will be my favorite but I really like this too like I like the whole concept and idea of this um, if it wasn't Stranger Things, I'd probably like it even more. Um, but this is just definitely my favorite. But I did want to look back in the book real quick to see if I just missed it or what. But I want to know about that pin, which I did not see anywhere in here. Because I was hoping to figure out what it is. It just says loot pins on it. Did I miss a page? Oh, it's on the bottom of the thing says, this month's pin, if you sh should encounter Dracula, one of the most famous creatures in the night, this pin may get you past the whole draining your life sort of thing. Uh, so I guess just Dracula. I do kind of see it a little more now, sort of. Like, obviously, it's yeah, like a vampire. I don't know if this is supposed to, the sides are supposed to be like the color of his That's cape or is. something. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Then it unlocks the Marvel or the Marvel Puzzle Quest thing, so that's what that whole thing's for. So that's going to be it for the Loot crate, the crate this month. I thought it was pretty good and decent overall. I liked a lot of the items. But that's going to be it for this unboxing. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up for me. Leave any comments you have down below and hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time.